I'm Jeremy Flood and I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level 8. We're going to set up procurement milestones. In this vignette we're going to discuss what a procurement milestone is and how to create a procurement milestone in Vico Schedule Planner. From the bill of quantities we'll need to navigate to the Gantt chart view. We can do this in the side navigation bar. We'll then need to head to our custom views where we can enter the procurement task schedule. It's important to note that we'll only ever be able to enter the procurement task schedule from the Gantt chart view. We're able to adjust the procurement milestones in a couple of ways. We showed you previously that we could adjust these in the procurement task dialog under the events tab. Alternatively, we can drag and drop these icons to suit our schedule as we require it to be completed. It's also good to note that procurement events which do not have controlling quantities may be created as procurement tasks in the Gantt chart view. As long as the procurement view is selected. So we can do this by right clicking anywhere in the grid area of the Gantt chart view and selecting create new procurement task. This will automatically open the edit procurement task dialog where we can create a new procurement task. In this example, we're going to, we're going to create a design change procurement task. Such procurement tasks may be set as predecessors for scheduled tasks, but may not have any controlling quantities. We can define the dependencies in the dependencies tab in the edit procurement tasks. We can then select the corresponding dependency for our procurement task. In this vignette, we've learned that procurement milestones are used to identify time considerations to begin a task. We also know that Vico Schedule Planner pulls milestones to the commencement of the task so we can understand the time relationship 